They get the football in the second half. Andre Ellington waits on the Aguayo kick, and we're underway. And taking a knee, and that means this year it comes out to the 25-yard line. It's Gerald in motion. They put the ball in his hands. Real nice closing speed defensively by who else? Quan Alexander. Hargraves was in coverage. Highest efficiency. Second down and six. Is that a catch? If it is, it is a beauty. And a reception it is to Michael Floyd. It's healthy now, and he used his strong hands on that catch. He was their main man after that sluggish start. They put it in the hands of David Johnson, and he gets back to the line of scrimmage. Tampa Bay defensively, very, very young. In Atlanta is Mike Smith. Tomb like quiet when the Cardinals are on offense and Cardinals on second down incomplete. Good discipline, Charles, not to interfere. An early third down for Arizona on offense and it's lofted into the air and again it's broken up and again it is burning in coverage this time on Michael Floyd. But he can get a great break on the football. Butler rolled over his foot and ankle last week, but still had an outstanding game and a loss to New England. This is Humphreys, a leads one tackler, and then drops and wait one to four different receivers. And was the NFC's offensive player of the month. How about that? Fakes one way, comes back the other, bouncing off a tackle as a veteran for the youngster Mike Evans. Saw it momentarily. That was Jackson. He does is make plays. Make a better play by stripping that ball and make a hit. Second down and two, and just find a little seam in there is Doug Martin, and he has a first down up to the 28-yard line. And as Chris and Charles talked about a moment ago, he's going to be working on the rookie Brandon Williams. Big running room for Martin, and he spun down up to the 40, a gain of 12 in a first down. To the third level, or the secondary, in a hurry. Frosty Rucker is out. Off to the right side, a little delay, and that's a significant gain. A gain of four, tackled by Tyvon Branch. Well, how about that read by Winston? They came back the other way, the same as the first play of the game. Saw the defender, got rid of it. Every time you run bootlegs and things like that, that's tough for a corner to do because he's covering any deep run. Great protection. Looking for Evans down the middle of the field. And it is intercepted. Peterson trying to bring it out of the end zone. And here he comes pointing to the crowd while he's running. And he'll step out of bounds to the 24. Chris, it appeared they took a play almost out of Bruce Arians' playbook. Take the big shot, right? But Patrick Peterson ran the route with Mike Evans and ended up being the receiver, not the defensive back. Look at him at the end of it. He became the guy and got the interception. Under heavy pressure, Palmer, and he just throws it out of bounds. Let's go back to the interception. What he needed to do was stay with the same speed and use that frame of his to body off Peterson and keep him away from the ball. Hands it off to David Johnson, tries to break it to the outside, a stiff arm, and a strong carry by a strong ball carrier. And here, a couple of minutes into this one, has a third interception against the Bucks. Pump fake, looking for Floyd down the sideline, overthrow. You be able to bounce back if you're Tampa Bay. Go ahead and go after him and see what happens. Second down and 10. This is David Johnson. Cuts it back to the inside. And he's tripped up short of the first down again. The eight. For the distance anytime. Well, third down and two. They're going to throw it. Palmer across the middle. And it's dropped. That's Daniel Fells. It's Aaron Fells, a backup tight end to Jermaine Gresham. Of course, his brother. Well, here at Tampa Bay's defense. Two possessions for Arizona, and the Cardinals have not crossed midfield. Oh, what a hit by Bethel. Three-time Pro Bowl special teams captain. And he delivered the hit. First down from the seventh. Looks for running room and this time not much there. He had three carries for 19 yards on the first possession, so they were able to run it a little bit. Corey Peters. 
second down out of the eye. Play fake. Good throw, a good catch, and that's a first down. And that seven is up to the 21. Dumps it off. Jameis has improved his ability to hit the check down. Again, the offensive line will try and push him forward for an extra yard or two. It's a three-yard pickup. After that, he was among the top young quarterbacks in the NFL. Great protection, and the throw is too high. He had Jackson at midfield. And a third down at seven. Here comes the blitz. Winston gets it away, and it is right on the money. From Humphreys, he was a punt returner who took that big shot a moment ago. Yeah, he's a he's a very impressive kid. Martin wrapped up, dropped for a three-yard loss. Marcus Golden, the first one there to meet him. Golden, an emerging star for this Cardinal defense. Excellent protection again, although batted down. And a second third down on this drive upcoming. Cardinals coming after Winston. Steps up. Throws behind Jackson, who was looking for a penalty flag. And none thrown. One from the 20 high. Short. John Brown from the 25. Look out if he turns that corner. And he flies to but is run out of bounds in the 32. Charles Davis, Chris Spielman, Peter Schwager and company, Tom Brenneman. Delighted you're with us on this Sunday afternoon, week two of the NFL season. And if there is such a thing as a critical second game of the year, that would certainly be the story for these Arizona Cardinals. The 36-year-old quarterback. The rest of your team can be very young, but Palmer is still among the game's very best. And they have young players like Johnson. Eat of the linebackers that Tampa Bay possesses. Oh. They're going zone right now. Put it down. And the flip high in the world. Did Palmer get it away? And he finds Andre Ellington for a first down, and Palmer took a shot. The first third down conversion out of their first three attempts. And Johnson wrapped up behind the line of scrimmage this time by William Golston, fourth year, second year starter. Two and a half minutes to go in the opening quarter. Defense dominated game thus far and lost it to Fitzgerald. And that's a first down all the way to the Tampa Bay 27 yard line. To get there because that's too much time for Fitzgerald to work downfield. Well, they hurry up, snap the football, and Johnson is met head on. Eight of yards, second and nine, good protection again. And uh, some contact over there on the far side with Werner and Floyd, but no flag. It brings up a third down and nine. Eight play of this drive. Palmer gets rid of it. And when he's got to make a connection, why not dial up number 11? And from the 15, first down, Arizona. With David Johnson. Not much running room as Tampa Bay defense is smothering him early on. And again, it's Quan Alexander. Nine seconds remain in the quarter. Knock out. Palmer does get rid of it in time to Fells. He spins out of a tackle and down to the seven-yard line. Maybe the eight. Short of a first down. There's David Johnson right here. Could be a key prime, uh, pass guy right here. Naturally, Lyman will point to the other side. We're going to get Tampa Bay on this one. Encroachment. Defense. Number 93. Veteran After call. distance to the goal, results in a first down. Pretty impressive. God, God, God rest his soul. He's yes, he did. Keeps right book somehow. Palmer <laughs> fires into the end zone, and a flag is down. It is ruled a. Touchdown, no one has given the official signal yet. But I think this is going against Tampa Bay. Nice matters against the defensive back. Defense, number 24. Strength. That penalty is declined. He's on to the play. 
and the touchdown. Larry Fitzgerald's got a great speed in him, but he might be one of the strongest receivers ever to play the game. We have guys hanging on here and able to go get that football. And his big body against Grimes is too much for him to cover. No jump involved in that play. That was just a strength play, as you described. And the point after is good. All right, second quarter just underway and waiting back Seashell Shorts. They just signed him last week. Brown picking the entire draft to be inactive every game. Cardinals were very down on him a year ago. Tony Jefferson coming up to put the hit on Martin on first down. They can adjust to whatever. There's that man pressure package. And here they come after Winston. And it's intercepted. And still tiptoeing along the sideline is inside the 20 is Marcus Cooper. It creates separation off the tough press coverage. You're in trouble. Watch these guys as they release downfield. There's no separation created, even on Cooper, who's one-on-one -on, -one on Jackson. And this is a bad throw, because Cooper beat Jackson to the route. So what does Jameis have to do, guys? He's got to backshore that and stop Vincent Jackson to make him adjust to the football. It's called throwing a man open. And Cooper was able to see it all the way because he never got pressed and had to turn. Chris Johnson checks into the backfield for the first time. They put it in his hands. They remember Johnson was actually the leading ball carrier for the Cardinals a season ago at over 800 yards for 100 yard gain. Need a yard for a first down, and uh, we'll see depending on the mark. It looked like he got there. They try to keep themselves feeling really good in the game. First down, Palmer all day to throw it. And it completes second down of coming in the loss to New England. So if they remember it's New England. Got right. that right. A little delay. And that did not fool Tampa Bay on defense, although able to fight for yardage is Johnson. Wow, a lot of missed chances, a lot of swinging and missing going on. No, <laughs> that's his job. That's his job. down in goal. Palmer. Once, twice, incomplete, no flag. Catton Zero was looking from 47 yards away to win the game last week, but a poor snap ultimately led to hometown Cardinals are out to a 10-0 lead with just under 12 minutes to go until halftime, and that one booted through the back of the end zone. On first down, 10-0 Cardinals with 11.44 to play in the second quarter. Winston throws to Martin's replacement, Charles Sims, and that's up to the 27-yard line. Games after four interceptions during a game, so don't think he's going to be daunted. That's a nice catch in traffic by the big, strong Mike Evans in his third year out of Texas A&M, and that's a wide body now at 6'5", 230. the tight end in motion and they dump it off to Sims that is an excellent tackle by Tony Jefferson he had a game high 10 of those last week against New England look at the man pressure guys this is what they make a living off here it goes and they hand it off and Sims shot down at the line of scrimmage They're bringing the house after Winston. He steps up and throws incomplete and a penalty flag down. Great coverage, though, or excuse me, protection. Pass interference. On Defense the number 32. Automatic first down at the spot of the foul. Well, I'm not sure if they called something on Matthew somewhere away from the play. There's nothing to call on him because he was just out in coverage by himself. Kept the right arm off the hook. He would have been safe. That's a 15 yard penalty. Sims. Nowhere to go. So you know where to go? Here's why. He's joining his Doug Martin. Looks like he's finished for the day with a hamstring injury. And Sims out of the backfield makes a catch. And again, it is Cooper coming up on the stop. This is the down they make their money on. Seventh play of this drive. Good protection. And he had an open receiver and just missed him. That was Adam Humphreys. Chin was there, receiver was there. He just missed him with the throw. Peterson stands back in his own 10, end over end punt. 
And it checks back up and down at the seven yard line. We'll call it the eight yard line. They hand it off on first down. And Chris Johnson up over the 10 to the 12 yard line. Winston, the starter from day one in Tampa Bay. Second down, maybe a yard. So a third down upcoming, and you just get the feeling in this game, fellas, that Tampa Bay needs to make a play. Just meeting linebackers, David and Quan Alexander to go after. Well, they drop back in coverage at time, and it's going to be very close. He needed to get to the 19-yard line. That is Darren Fells, a third-year tight end, former basketball player. Humphreys waits back. Booming punt by Butler. Goodness, all the way to the 32. Humphreys, a nice return. Still on his feet, and oh, brother, did he take a lick from Nicholas, the backup tight end who's celebrating his birthday. Bruce Arians in a Cardinals challenge. It appeared as though Humphreys may have stepped out of bounds before he took that big shot from Troy Nicholas along the sideline. This is Adam Humphreys on the return on the sideline. You know, you can see where the foot is. Maybe, is it right there? I mean, is that the spot? So there you go, taking a look, saying that that's in the white, and that ball should come back to that spot. And then a second foot even stepped on the white, the left foot first, and the right foot, and then a third time. So Thanks, Keith Euchre. <laughs> ruling on the field stands as called. Arizona's charged with their first time out of the half. Well, now that is hard to believe. That's a little bit of a surprise, to be honest. That with you. is really, really hard to believe. Hey, for some it may not sound like much. Six yards, oftentimes, is the difference between winning and losing. And a first down reception, a tight end gets in on the action. Safarian Jenkins, who had a 30-yard touchdown catch last weekend, is first today. Safarian Jenkins Boy! and Brandon Myers. Second down pitch to Sims. Tries to turn the corner and can't. Peterson is there. Team to play until halftime. But the Arizona 46, here they come. And Winston stands in there. And it is caught by another tight end, Cameron Brait. College free agent out of Harvard. 15-yard gain. Buccaneers in the Arizona territory. Great protection. And then Brait makes a catch, but only good for a one-yard pickup. And your one-on-ones on the perimeter. Winston. I'm not sure what happened there. Is that a fumble or is that a forward pass? And they're saying it's Arizona football. It looks like a draw, but right there, Charles Sims in pass protection, his shoulder knocks the ball out of the hands of his quarterback. He's coming across, look, he's coming across to help in pass protection, and it looks like his shoulder knocked the ball out of the hands of his quarterback. Never seen play action on a three-step drop. Doesn't work. And it didn't work there. So now Palmer with 3.06 to go until halftime. Looking down the field, and nowhere near the intended target, Larry Fitzgerald. Second down. Palmer fakes a handoff to Johnson and overthrows him. 54 to play until halftime. This guy they neutralized so far is McCoy. He's got to be a factor. All day to throw it. You give Palmer that much time, there's no chance. And that is a first down to Jerron Brown. Tampa 2 defense. Playing two safeties high. And right here, when you have guys losing, two guys covering one guy to the outside, that's a miscommunication. And that's a mix-up. Last week against Atlanta, there were a ton of mental mistakes in that back end. Already questionable coming into the game with a bum ankle. And slow to walk back to the sideline. Play fake again. And the catch cut. Levades a tackle as Johnson run out of bounds at the 25 to 17 left. Ball the Buccaneers 25-yard line. Palmer zings it across the middle. And is it a touchdown? It is a touchdown for Larry Fitzgerald, his second of the game. It's all about occupying safeties. Fitzgerald's going to run a skinny post. The safety jumps on Michael Floyd. Gus is late to provide help to Fitzgerald on the skinny post. 
You put too much pressure on Conti right there. He can't help. You, may, you don't let him make a decision. And Fitzgerald, perfect timing. And I think, he's, I think his knee was down before he got into that yeah. end zone. Yeah, they're going to take a look at that. Maybe the official thought on the field that he wasn't touched, so therefore not being down by contact, it would have been a score. But he is tripped up from behind by the defender, and knee is down. So to me, they will put this down at the one. But Mike, listen, we're all, I think we all agree on the call, but I have a bigger one. When do we get an autographed copy of the book? The runner's knee oh, touchdown you know. with the ball at the one and a half yard line will be Arizona's ball first and goal at the one and a half. The clock will start on my signal. Ever since coming on board here on Fox, first and goal. Now the shotgun, they're going to throw it incomplete. He's up under center. Chris Johnson in the backfield. What? We're going to throw it again. The play never works. Down and goal from just outside the one. They're going to throw it again. And Palmer steps up and finds Floyd in the back of the end zone. So the Cardinals cash in after all. Have a mobile quarterback who can threaten the edge in these situations. You've got to protect him. And look at what they did up front. Plenty of time for him to actually go through progressions and find Michael Floyd in the back of the end zone. Here's the other thing, too. Carson Palmer moves number 23, Chris Conti, with his eyes. Look at Conti go outside with his eyes. He's late coming back to the back. So now a chance to make it 17 0. And it is good. A disaster so far for Tampa Bay. Buccaneers so impressive last week in their win over Atlanta. At the rhythm, especially the Cardinals play soft zone. And remember, the Buccaneers get the ball to begin the second half, so we'll see if they can't get something started. That is a terrible throw on first half. Second down and 10, they're coming after him down the middle of the field. He took a big hit just as he delivered the football from Calais Campbell. It's third down and 10. Now, all of a sudden, Arizona thinking, hey, we force an incompletion here. We might have one more shot before the end of the half. Don't get greedy. Did you drop and play coverage? Oh, yeah. well, here they come, and Winston looks for the long ball. And it's incomplete to Humphreys. Excellent coverage back there once more by three straight incompletions. Line drive, punt, returnable, or is it? No fair catch signal for him. By John Brown, State Seminoles. So now Palmer with two timeouts. A minute 17 left. And dropped by Fells. How about the mighty Buckeyes last night, Mr. Spielman? Uh, that's Urban Meyer and what they're able to do. They just replace. It's like stormtroopers in and Star Wars. Penalty. All these white <laughs> helmets go off, and there's a million other white helmets that look like the guys just went off to the NFL. They're just too young. Or North Dakota State. <laughs> they're pretty good. Goes to David Johnson. He's up to the original line of scrimmage. You're close to it anyway. Clock continues to run under a minute. Palmer out of the shotgun. And what a throw that was. John Brown caught it. You can see the work that they put in in the offseason. They had over 1,000 yards receiving last year. He lost a lot of money on that bet when you start looking at some of the other guys at receiver, especially Floyd and Fitzgerald. And now a timeout will be called, but he never used the finger as an excuse. He was asked about it, asked about it, would never say that's a reason why. Look at this. Jerron Brown, a touchdown. We had this discussion at practice the other day about Jerron Brown and his role increasing. Look at that, just splits right down the middle. And because the protection was so good, Carson Palmer had time to pump and make sure he was clear before he even threw the ball. And, and that's bad by Chris Conti. You have to understand game situations. And you see him running full speed with his head down. You got to get out of your back pedal and protect the back end because that's where they're going to attack. That's that simple. Get out of your back pedal in that situation. Going after is good. So in the final. Is shorts 
And he's well short of where he would have been had he taken a knee. He said, well, assembling them, giving them what they need to do their job, and they're turning them loose. Quincy can throw it on first down. Kelly flag down, and he will step out of bounds. You know, our thoughts and prayers go to the entire Bidwell family. Today, the Cardinals are wearing it, a sticker on their helmets with the initials NJB, signifying the passing of Nancy Bidwell. Deliver use of hands to the face by the defense, number 44. A five yard penalty will be added to the end of the run. There's also an automatic first down. Of her husband. If that's the way you're going to go at 84 years old, sign me up. No doubt about it. Another penalty flag down as Winston is sacked on what will be the final play of the half, maybe, depending on the penalty. It is a hold, so that's the way the half will end. Marcus Golden getting Holding. the sack. Offense, number 74. That penalty is declined. There's also a play second down. After such an impressive win in week one, on the road in Atlanta, a rough first half for Jameis Winston. Check in with Peter Schwager here momentarily as Tampa Bay will get the football to 25. Peter, how about Williams, a rookie who had a, a rough NFL debut, and he's not the only guy that's ever happened to. They put it in the hands of Humphreys, and that's a gain of 11 on first down. A nice player, but experience would be a big help on the other corner. Sims playing for the injured Doug Martin, who had to leave very early in this game with a hamstring injury, and that's Cooper. Corners and safeties. They didn't tap the well against New England. They're doing it today. That pass looked like it was tipped as they set up another wide receiver screen to Humphreys and a pretty good pickup. And they'll keep running until they see Arizona start pressing. And Tampa Bay needs a first down in the worst sort of way and overthrown. I mean, Winston felt some pressure, but he had a wide open receiver. Not clear down so far today. And here they come after Winston. And that throw on the money to the tight end. Safarian Jenkins in a first down to Cardinal territory. Very talented. It's interesting some of his comments last week to the win over Atlanta. Ball thrown down the sideline, incomplete, great coverage, although a penalty flag comes in. That was Peterson going step for step with Evans. Pass interference, offense, number 13, 10-yard penalty, replay first down. Chris, it looked to me like Peterson had the better position, and that's probably why he forced his pass interference. Well, it starts out with him. See that? Yeah. He's got it pinned. Beautiful. He's got it pinned right there, and Evans tried to go through him. Peterson went to his fifth consecutive Pro Bowl last season, the first four as a special team. And there's that wide receiver screen, and that is good enough for a first down again to Adam Humphreys. And the Buccaneers on the move, first down. And Winston steps out of trouble. He can run him a little bit. You know, that's one of the things about uh, Winston. You know, he, it's kind of interesting. Charles, you were talking about it. runner. It is rare you'll see a quarterback who runs for over four yards a carry because of, you know, trying to scramble away, and right. get sacked, loss of one or two. That's what he did last year, including rushing for six touchdowns. Short drop. Off to the end zone and completed. I mean, Peterson on Evans like a blanket. He goes so far, and he knew that. They try to trip him with a handoff on second down. It does not fool Arizona defensively, starting with Dayon Buchanan there, leading tackler from a season ago, Mr. Everything. Getting shut out, any points sounds like a good idea. When you're down 24 nothing, you need a touchdown. And that's exactly what they get this time. They're able to beat Peterson. And Evans with a touchdown reception, beautifully thrown ball. And what was the adjustment? The back shoulder throw. Chris, you talked about it earlier in the game. Sometimes you've got to change, or change up what you're doing. Instead of throwing it down the pipe where Peterson's got to play, he goes back shoulder. Look at the adjustment by Mike Evans no, with no. the body control to come back and get the football. you got to get there because you can't ask your guy to cover all day. They had pressure, did not get there. McGuire, the highly decorated three-time first-team All-American out of Florida State with a point after. Sportsmanship. Guys going back and forth, dapping each other up on their way out. Really That's nice. They threw our uh, producer off the field, and there's a... Here's trail 24-7, first position offensively in the second half for Carson Palmer. He comes out throwing. Dumps it off to Johnson, and look out. 
Looking for a block from Floyd. He got that. And now looking for the same zone. And one out of bounds inside the 25. He's going to go one on one against the guy that made 17 tackles last week in Quan Alexander. Quan's going to come off nice. And the problem is. He did not have the acceleration, and you teach guys to run through tackles, not drop to your knees. 113 yards from scrimmage, and we're just underway in the third quarter. They hand it off to Chris Johnson, no relation, and a nice play by the rookie Vernon Hardgrave. The field right here. Palmer. Boy, he is very, very lucky right there that Brent Grimes does not come up with that interception. That was a poorly thrown ball. Yeah, and this is a bad read. Now, if this was a linebacker, you go at him. If it's a corner, don't go at him because a corner can cover a running back. That's John Brown in motion, trips to the right side, and Palmer is dropped back in the 22-yard line. By Noah Spence, all time at Ohio State University after the way he played his first two years there, then was run off the team by head coach Urban Meyer, but took advantage of another chance and he's trying to make the most of it. I thought that was a significant drive for Arizona to give a little bit of an answer to the touchdown of Tampa, Tampa Bay. But you know what you saw on that field goal was another low snap. In this one, he didn't have to move very much, it was just low. Winston on first down, able to escape trouble. That'll be a flag against Tampa Bay. And this will come back. It's a 10 yard game. It just puts a ton of pressure on a Tampa offense. Over the hands to the face. Offense, number 69. 10 yard penalty. Replay first down. You're down 27 7, and you got some guys trying to get some bonus money with sacks. <laughs> that small miss. Yes. That's something. Yeah, Bruce Arians knows about that. Quick slant. First time we've called Vincent Jackson's name all day today. He's up to the 30. Let's send it back to Los Angeles to Kurt Menefee. These are man beaters. Those tight splits beat man coverage. They're coming after Jameis, and it's out of the reach of Evans, who is looking for a penalty flag on Cooper that never came. What a catch that was. That's a high throw, and that adds some hair on it now. He can make the tackle if he gets the catch. You know, so much was made, fellas, about uh, Matthew and, and the style of play they used him last year, or last week, I should say. Close to midfield, Tampa Bay trails 27-7. And Jameis Winston works out of the shotgun. What a catch. Well, the athleticism with some of these players. That Cecil Shorts is just staggering. That, now we have Poppy's feeling you feeling. <laughs> well, that feeling didn't last very long. Marcus Cooper on the tip ball for an Arizona touchdown. Well, the old tip drill is going to come into play. Here's Cooper, 41, the second person that I circled. I think the tip drill comes by trying to run the screen, and it tips off the hands of Sims. But that was mid play was made by Dayon Buchanan. Yeah. He came in and blew it up because he grabbed Sims on the screen. See that? And on that tackle, Sims unable to haul it in. He tips it to Cooper, and Cooper gets his second one of the day, and Waltz is in. Didn't hear it. He said he wanted experience on the other corner. And Marcus Cooper has more experience than Brandon Williams. He was then in and out of the hands of Sims before landing in the hands of Cooper, who races 59 yards for a touchdown. It worked out pretty well. Nice. Well, they pitch it to Sims, still on his feet, and up to the 34-yard line, a gain of nine on first down. Jaquiz Rogers just brought in late this week, and he'll get his first touch as a Buccaneer. He played for a number of years, of course, with Mike Smith, now the defensive coordinator, when he was head coach in Atlanta. Humphreys oh, again. You know, uh, it, look, it's only human nature. Sports for different various reasons. It's good to see Smitty back on the sideline. And here's Rogers with a big run. All the way to the 30, going on the road and toe to toe thus far with the defending Super Bowl champs. 
Vincent Jackson to the 28-yard line on a first down reception. He left in the third quarter. Well, you can see uh, Matthew is, is 25 yards behind the line of scrimmage at the safety spot. Third down and six. Winston fires a strike and it's caught inside the five by Vincent Jackson. Is that a fumble? Or is it an incomplete pass? Incomplete pass. The tad tentative stuff. Absolutely. 45 yard field goal try by Aguayo and he pushes it off to the right. No good. Same. Tom, do not ask him what goes to the He's getting he's getting excited up here. Well, apparently we're not going to be asking one in an introduction <laughs> meeting coming up anytime soon. I'm Second down and eight for Palmer and the Cardinals, and they'll stay on the ground. Final 115 in the third. Johnson. David Johnson on the carry. Greatness of those two. Two of the all time greatest to ever grace a field. I tell you what, Charles, I think for a lot of us in our, uh, you know, 50s, what a throw that is and a catch by Johnson. I think it speaks even more volume than Johnny Unitas. But guess what? He can't run like David Johnson. Carson Palmer knows that's where it's going the whole way. That's a matchup that they'll take all day. And when you can beat Levante David, that's a weapon because Levante David might be one of your better. 24 points in the second quarter. Scored by the Cardinals. 14 in the last two minutes. And there's Fitzgerald. The sixth catch of the afternoon. As you say that because, I, you know, Arians, like you uh, pointed out earlier, I mean, he told us the other day that, that he may have stayed in the slow lane last week in that game against New England, and it came back to bite him. And he was not happy with himself. No, he wasn't. Was they actually used a fourth during the year, Logan Thomas. That's right. Brian Lindley played in the playoffs after Stan Gallagher. Chris Johnson. And powerful running. Down to the five. First and goal, Arizona. Three new starting offensive linemen from a group that, you know, ranked number one in the NFL in total offense last year, along with points per game. I mean, this was a high octane in every sense of those words offense. Johnson is into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. And that'll be a penalty flag on Johnson. Juan Alexander gave him a whack. I think it got knocked halfway off. Then I he thought. took it there off. There is no foul for unsportsmanlike conduct on the play. The runner's helmet came off unintentionally. Ruling on the field is a touchdown. This is shot now. And watch the shot that he does. Great cut right here by Chris Johnson in the burst. But there's a great hit. And that helmet's knocked loose. And he might have broke his helmet. Well, that was yeah. some kind of shot there. Point after to make it an even 40. That looked like another problem uh, handling. I don't know if it was a snap or just a drop snap. Has watched his team struggle today. Well, the Cardinals have been doing that to teams regularly here about the last four years. Body protection as an NFL quarterback. I'd be cautioned against that getting too low. He just threw a big time block right there. It didn't lead to many yards, but Jan, look at this all of a sudden. It looks like uh, Cooper wants a piece of Jameis Winston. I don't know what Winston's holding in his hand there. So that's So so watch him here. He's gonna he's gonna hand the ball off. And he carries out his fake, but the play comes back to him. And look at the block he lays on Marcus Cooper. Sunday. Clean block though. Strike in there to Vincent Jackson, a first down up to the 35. Is what galvanizes his teammates, and that's why he's a leader. We'll check in downstairs with more on Jameis Winston with Peter Schrager. And threw a block. In fact, he got so involved, he knocked Doug Martin down throwing the block. And they pitch it to Sims. Got a good block. Puts it back to the inside and up to the 40. I heard the same news reports. I read the newspapers and all the, you know, off-field issues coming out of, of Florida State, what he did or didn't do, I have no idea. And we're going to sit here and act like I'm uh, choosing up sides on that Aaron third down throw. Last thing in the world the Buccaneers can use now is another injury. They've already had Martin lead this game. Such a huge weapon in their offense and basically didn't even get to play. 
That one through the end zone. Doing it up for the crowd here. Yes, they were. Drew Stanton. And his 10th year out of Michigan State. They remember he was a guy uh, in that 2014 season we were talking about a moment ago when Carson Palmer got hurt. At one point, they were trying to start Logan Thomas and announced him as the starter. And then after a Tuesday or Wednesday practice, <laughs> B.A. said, no, he's not starting. Ron Lindley is. <laughs> when they were sharp right from the word go. And you know what? Through they all the, the pace. Ride, you say that, and Charles, you're 100% correct. It's a great point. But, you know, you say all that. And more than likely with a good snap, and that's just they based the on the track record of uh, Cat and Zero. You come out and you get this performance on offense and this performance on defense, that was healthy for them since they're winning today. Your dad was a coach at this point. Yeah. He would walk in and say, why do you have to do that to get this performance? Just do it the right way each time. Human nature. It is human nature. Penalty flag down. And toward against San Diego in the third preseason. During the game. return, illegal block in the back. Number 21 of the return team. A 10 yard penalty is assessed from the spot of the foul. Tampa Bay's ball, first down. Time so, out. Turner, the penalty. We're back in a moment. Get him out. He's too valuable to your team to take any unnecessary shots. Look like this. And he gets rid of that one and then wrapped up at the end there, taken down by Tony Jefferson on a first down. Throw. Moving through these guys, it's kind of a tough day. So, you saying take him out? I'll talk to you about that after, after this snap. Down on a catch by Evans up to the 33. We'll get back to that in one second. Let's check in with Kurt Menefee in L.A. The road, I love it. And you don't, love give, it. don't give Drew Brees another shot. You've got a two-point play you trust. And you trust your team. All right, so you guys are starting to talk. Chris, you made the point. Yep. If you were right now Dirk Cutter, you get this guy out of here. Play a little devil's advocate. Sure. Up, see where, where Dirk Cutter might be going with this. But you don't want anything to happen to that young man. Well, he just got thrown to the deck again. This time by Marcus Golden off the edge. Incomplete third down coming up. So two of the three plays on this drive. What you got. And Jameis is shoved to the deck for a third time. Three this plays. Time by Tyvon Branch. I didn't have it. Young and Rice and Taylor had it. <laughs> All right, so you're saying your dad's a real comforting nurturing yeah, type? I love it. Yeah, I get that. Truth teller. <laughs> That's a great one. Fair catch by John Brown inside the 20. We have 735 remaining. Yeah, they ended up working together here in Arizona. Small world, guys. How about that? I think we ought to start referring to Peter as the ubiquitous <laughs> Peter Schrager. All of a sudden, I remember the things I should have done and didn't do and wish I had done. And so, yeah, I'm, I'm dispensing it, even though it might not be the right stuff. Oh, no, 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 no. I think you, uh, I think you have it all right to a T. 12 to the 13 are back. They have a defense that most people think has a chance to be better this year than the top five defense from last year. The team that they've assembled for this year, they're, they're wanting to make that run. They're taking dead aim at being one of those teams. Oh, goodness. Who delivered that hit? Was that David? Or was that Alexander? Both of them are in there and, and get used to that if you're a Tampa Bay fan because the defense is designed by Mike Smith and they get there with impact. We were talking about this Cardinal team and you, know, you look up on the board and there's only a minute 50 left in the game. I think he's anywhere close to being who he is. And, and, fellas, the game. and we know they have not one thing they have they have I don't know if I'd call it going against the grain or not. But they have just absolutely said we are not going to spend money on offensive linemen. The Rams, seven and nine, eight and eight, right? Who do they play tough every That's year? Right. They swept Seattle last year. That's right. It's just there's something about them and that matchup. Tip drill showing up all over the league today. Jameis Winston still in there. And that's a nice throw right there to Jackson, a first hand. Penalty marker is down on the far side of the field. Prior to the pass, holding defense, number 27. That penalty is declined. Result of the play is a first down. So on the road next week, we'll get back to that here in a second. Our group will be back here 
in Glendale two weeks when the Rams come to town. They go to San Francisco. Way through, but you're talking about that stretch right there. Right. It, if they can stay healthy, they've got to feel like they can manage that one fairly well. Now, you notice, I know Jameis is still in there, Chris, and, and you talked about it and you were emphatic about the whole thing. At that time, though, I remember we went to him, remember? We had him the very next week. VA. That's right. And he looked at us like, were you even asking that question? That's for? right. And that one was every bit as ugly as this one is. I got this. This is pass rush. He sacks. Fair catch called for at the 15 yard line. 2.57 to play. He wants to be one of those guys. He picks their brains, he brings them out for workouts. Right, he brings them to Minneapolis That's St. Right. Paul in the offseason. They watch tape. He goes over things, always looking for that edge, always looking for a way to improve. I mean 100 catches. I'm talking where, you know, maybe in the 80 to 85 range. By the end of this year, along with those receiving yards in the history of the National Football League. Serpent hey. Company down there in Tombstone, Arizona. Right high in the south. See? You believe it, right? No and, doubt. And when, you, and when you heard those hoof beats, we're just talking to Seattle had the ball down at the Rams 30 yard line with a minute 50 left and Kristen Michael fumbled the ball just recovered by L.A. They're trying to win their home opener. Big punt return here by Humphreys run out of bounds. Camp it down a little bit for them. That'd be a nice matchup with them in Los Angeles next week. Los Angeles' defense. James is having to navigate that. Doug Martin in his health because he's a Four major short. player in this offense. Oh, you're right about that. Winston. Incomplete on a second and fourth. You talk to guys within the organization. He's the guy. He's the one. And he does it by his actions. Way of game, offense, five-yard penalty, still third down. Now that is from the official stats, folks, that tally up the league stats as Winston is sacked by Chandler Jones. We're about to find out. He's going to sling it around with 11 seconds left to go. He's going to make one more throw. Big chase, running pretty well right here. He's just going to heave it to the end zone for Evans down there. And that pretty much caps off a really rough day for Jameis Winston. DJ Swearinger with the interception. And that's the way this one comes to an end. The Cardinals bounce back after an opening week loss to New England with a thumping of Tampa Bay, 40-7.